All right. This is my study material. This big body here. It's Robin's basic pathology. And suppose I'm having an exam in another five days. My exam is, let's say, it's cell injury, cell death and adaptation. The first chapter of this big body, right? Now, see how I'm going to study most efficient way that topic to get through my exam. The first step. I need you to be possessed into the atmosphere of examination and get into the real time condition to get your sympathetic nervous system on. How you do that? You suppose you are in the examination room. Get in your sympathetic nervous system on. How you do that? You just possess into the examination atmosphere. You think this is your exam. You get something to think. To make you think this is your examiner this is professor teddy for me as i think he's just beside me sitting there and going to shoot me with his deadly strike of questions now my sympathetic nervous system is totally switched on my heart is pumping rapidly it gives more blood to my brain my brain start to focus my GI tract, my urinary tract is sluggish and I do not need to go to the toilet. I am so into the exam. I am so concentrated. My sympathetic nervous system switch on now. I am in the examination room. The first step you have to do is get yourself possessed into the atmosphere of the exam and switch on your sympathetic nervous system. The second step. It's going to be finding the deadly strike of Professor Teddy. What is he going to shoot me with? His questions. So let's see. Now my topic is cell injury, cell death and adaptation. I'm just finding something he's going to shoot me with. Let's see. It doesn't have to be a particular order. You can start from the beginning. Either you can start from the end of the topic or middle somewhere. Maybe what I do is I just turn on my pages and then I find some topic here saying hypertrophy it's something familiar when I attended those lectures I have heard this topic I think this could be the niche this could be the question from professor Ted and he's going to hunt me down with this particular examination now my sympathetic system is on let's see what is he going to ask right he may ask me, in his sweet vocabulary, he may ask, All right, son, you tell me what is hypertrophy? Or define me the hypertrophy. All right? Or just explain me the literature of hypertrophy. You just have to imagine, in his word, he's asking you this question. All right, step three. Now you need to find your answer to be unique from the best of your batch. What do I mean by that? Now, you know the question is hypertrophy. Now let's read that paragraph very quickly. Since your sympathetic nervous system switch on, your pupils are dilated, you are catching the things very quickly, the blood supply more into your brain, you are so into the topic, so you can read it very fast. Let's see, hypertrophy. Hypertrophy is an increase in the size of the cells, resulting in an increase in the size of the organ. In contrast, hyperplasia, this is what it says, right? Now, you have got your answer. Therefore, now your answer is almost ready. Must have caught that very quickly than average when you follow this method because your adrenaline rush is very high and you are into the battle. All right, what I meant by make your answer unique from the best of your batch, that means, suppose the person doing best in your batch may wake up 4 a.m. in the morning. He's a hard worker. He doing things continuously, which you can't do. Here, you have to imagine he's reading the same book. If he 
comes up with the answer for the same question asked by Professor Teddy, he would say hypertrophy is an increase in size of cells resulting in an increase in the size of organ. That will be his answer. What I meant by make a unique answer from the best of your batch, you will have to add something special than what best do. Hypertrophy is increase size of the cell leading to increase the size of organ. With all respects, I reckon main two facts in hypertrophy. The first one is increasing cell size which lead increasing the size of the organ. That is the second fact. Alright, now the last step. Fourth step of your most efficient studying way, studying pattern of medicine. That will be, you have to reshoot of your movie from beginning to end. Let's see how you do that. Let's imagine this is the exam. Now your sympathetic nerve system is on. You are very into the things. Prof Ted just sitting next to you. He's shooting with his deadly strike to you. That will be his question. He's asking, all right, son, you tell me what is the hypertrophy? Now your answer. Sir, hypertrophy is increasing cell size which lead to increase the size of the organ. I reckon main two facts there. The first one is increasing the cell size. The second fact is increasing the O. Hypertrophy is deposited in your brain, in your memory. That will not be going away, never. This is the most efficient way of studying for a medical viva exam or a table viva exam or any topic in medicine for any sort of exam that will be deposited in your memory. By doing this, the advantages you get is you are more living in the environment of the examination. By doing so, you are almost few steps ahead from uh, average student perform. The second thing is the things you study, you can rapidly roll up, you can rapidly finish your chapter of study and you can go grab something else. Since you have studied very rapidly, it's time for you to go grab your bed and play some cricket and drink some tea and let your GI tract or urinary tract to again switch on, your parasympathetic nervous system to switch on again because it's not good you keep on your sympathetic nervous system for a long time. Therefore, let me go grab my bed and play some cricket. Before I'm going, I need to tell you something. If you haven't watched my previous video of uh, five golden tips how to perform excellent in Vibos exam, I'm telling you to watch that because the way you study it here, when you connect to that thing, you can finish the things very quickly and you can study any chapter, any of these big bodies very quickly. That's my niche. That's the tip I'm giving you. Don't forget to subscribe me because your subscription will be my motivation. If you do that, I will do more. That's how the world goes. The world is so balanced. Therefore, I will tell you, if you have any question, you can comment here. Any doubt, you can clarify by commenting. If you think this video is useful, share among your friends, give this message to them. You try this method of studying, but if you have excellent method of studying, you just continue with that. But if you are in rush with your exam, you haven't done much, your exam is coming up, you can practice this method. Even if you are so good, you are a great discipline student, you have studied much of the things, still, by practicing this method, you can polish up the things before the exam. By doing your polishing now, it will be, when you go to the exam, it will be more accurate. It will be look like Virat Kohli when he's batting. You will, your answer will look like something sweet comes out of Virat Kohli's bat. Therefore, I'm asking you to 
do this continually, practice this continually. Virat Kohli is not an alien one. If you see his batting, he looks alien, but what he does is real time practicing. You have to do the same. You have to do this method, real time practicing for the exam. Always then it will look like so pretty as Virat Kohli. Do. Next we meet from the next video. Bye bye.